An electric motor is a pretty good way to power a vehicle. Lots of bottom end torque, obviously silent. It's how do you get the electricity to that motor that I have a concern with. Well, as viewers of Motoring TV have known for over 30 years, there is nothing wishy-washy about our Jim Kenzie. And you know, for years, he has been convinced that hydrogen is indeed the future, and he's not alone. This is the future. Governments, industry, public, get on it. But as we all know, battery-powered vehicles have gained most of the headlines. So there's a lot of misconceptions out there for all of us, including you, the consumer, who will ultimately decide which fuel source will power the vehicles of the future. So this week, we thought we'd try and clear up some of the myths, maybe get up to speed on a fuel source that could indeed change the way we get from A to B in the future. And that fuel source is hydrogen. A lot of people don't understand exactly what hydrogen cars are. They're electric vehicles that carry their own fuel. The hydrogen is stored in a tank inside the vehicle and it is used to create electricity through a chemical process and that electricity runs the electric motor. It's basically the same as a car that you plug in except that instead of plugging it into the grid, you carry the fuel to make the electricity. As hydrogen is a new technology, uh, there's a lot of misconceptions out there. Some of the questions are around, is this technology really readily available today and can we actually use it? And the answer to that is yes. The question between battery electric and fuel cell electric vehicles uh, is a good question and we believe that there's room for both as we move towards reducing our carbon footprint. Uh, the benefit of fuel cell electric vehicles are that it doesn't require any driver change or change in habit of the consumer. You can get in the vehicle, drive 500 kilometers, takes three minutes to fill up, and it has good cold weather performance, which is really important in Canada. Hydrogen's rolled out across Japan. It's rolled out through California and into uh, some other U.S. states. It's, uh, it's a factor in a number of countries in Europe. In Canada, we're, we're somewhat limited in terms of hydrogen infrastructure. Uh, there's a uh, fueling station in Vancouver that's being used by a small fleet of fuel cell vehicles. Uh, here at Hydrogenics, we have a fueling station, but it's my understanding that uh, we will have uh, very shortly two fueling stations uh, here in the Toronto area. What we do need to do is to focus on the infrastructure. And to do that, we're working with government, we're working with other colleagues in industry, and I think it's a telling point that every major car company has a hydrogen fuel cell development program underway. Other misconceptions are around the questions of is this really truly an environmentally friendly option? And the answer is yes. If you produce the hydrogen using a renewable uh, resource, i.e. wind power or preferably solar power, there's no pollution involved there. Using the hydrogen for propulsion, the only thing you produce is clean water. So there's no pollution there. It has the potential to be a true zero emission drive. The other misconception or question is around the safety or the danger of hydrogen. And the answer is hydrogen is safe. In many respects, it's much safer than a gasoline powered vehicle because gasoline, if you had a tank rupture, pools around the vehicle. Whereas hydrogen, which is lighter than air, dissipates very rapidly. The scalability of hydrogen is, is actually really one of the key benefits of hydrogen, as you do not require a large battery or a large storage of electricity to propel a bigger vehicle. With battery electric cars, in order to move a larger vehicle, then you need a larger battery pack. And when you add a larger battery pack, you add cost and you add weight, and that reduces the viability of that product. Whereas with, uh, with hydrogen, it's a question of simply increasing the size of the tank. Our experience with our customers on any advanced technology has been that people are ready to adopt advanced technology as long as it doesn't require a real sacrifice in customer convenience, in comfort, in the way that they lead their lives. And frankly, hydrogen's the technology that brings us closest to the experience of driving the vehicle that they have in their driveway today. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And if you watch this on Facebook, like, follow, and share us. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.